We've been in the tent for over 12 hours. <laughs> Change of plans. We're packing up and it's just not cool. We have zero idea where the trail is. Well, uh, that didn't go according to plan. Get warm and get ready. Good morning, we are in the Eastern Sierra and are headed out on the last backpacking trip of the season. Or so we think. We think. No, it's definitely the last one. It is cold. There's snow on the ground here, just a little bit. We're I don't- We're starting at 22 degrees. We don't know if it's gonna get above freezing the whole time. This is my dad and he planned the whole trip and we're just coming along. <laughs> How much? 33.6. That's gonna be lighter than ours. That's pretty good. Let's see it. This is not including the camera. Ah, I've got a really bad habit of pump your pack. 38 flat. 38. <laughs> That's been our number recently. <laughs> Thirty-four point five. All right, so today we're starting a seventeen and a half mile journey, give or take. Well, and then we'll add a little more. Food. Yeah, we're gonna add more because there's gonna be a mountain in there. Uh, but it's one big loop. Today we're gonna do about nine, nine and a half miles. And then tomorrow will be just like two miles plus a mountain summit and back to camp, so short day, big adventure. And then another, what, eight miles out on the last day. I think it's only like five miles the last day. Oh, <laughs> math. It's already very chilly. I need to put my gloves on. <laughs> Okay, I think we found another spot to cross the river. All of the rocks and logs are so icy, there's like, it'd be super scary to fall. Apparently all of the water is frozen. It'll be a melting snow. Polar plunge. No. <laughs> oh yeah. Got a horse up here. It's warm in the sun, but as soon as you stop, it gets so cold. It's chilly. We got to the top of the pass. It is freezing cold. I, like, it, you just get over the pass and the wind hits. Bone chilling. Bone chilling. But we, have, we think we've gone like four and a half or five miles. So we're like halfway. <laughs> we have zero idea where the trail is. So if you can see it, let us know. That's what we're aiming for. All oh, the spree. It's been work. We're getting there. It's gonna be kind of a late night. We're just, we could have camped back there behind us, but then we would have just sat and been cold all night. So we'll see how it goes. This place is freaking beautiful. Holy crap. This is why I love the Eastern Sierra. There is the first cairn we've seen 
this entire time. Oh my gosh. That's it. It's the first one. Maybe the only one. Whoo! Not gonna lie, this is pretty brutal. We're feeling pretty worked and we still have a long way to go. Whew. Whew. So not even up for debate. This is the worst talus field ever. That was the hardest thing I've ever done with a backpack in my life. And the travel is so slow. Like we only, we didn't make it very far and it took no. so We're much We're a third time. of the way. Change of plans. We're packing up. We got at least three more hours of that tomorrow. We've traveled two thirds of a mile in a couple hours and it's just not cool. So we're going back down. We're gonna have a water supply. We're gonna have flat ground. We're gonna have dinner. And maybe we'll toil around up on some other peaks tomorrow. Or we'll just go get burgers. I just pray to God it doesn't take us two more hours to get back down there because the sun is gone and it is freezing cold. Found camp. <laughs> so he's padding down the spot. She said she wanted it packed down. Thank God, because it's just before you couldn't see anything. <laughs> gonna keep some warm water over here. <laughs> what is that? That's my filter. Oh. <laughs> the water is freezing even when you just put it into the pot. Hopefully it's not too spicy. That'll really warm up your belly. It smells kind of spicy. Zoe bought the spicy ramen. It's quite spicy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cold. Yeah, burr. <laughs> Good night. Good night. We've been in the tent for over 12 hours. <laughs> because it gets dark so early and the sun comes up so late. It's cold. That lake's a lot more frozen than yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's solid. Oh, yeah. So cool. <laughs> <sighs> nice. I wouldn't stand out there now. Yeah. <laughs> we finally got sun. How's it feel? Ooh, it feels glorious. Ultimately, we all woke up agreeing that we really did not want to reattempt that boulder field. Well, uh, that didn't go according to plan. We didn't get many opportunities to show just how awful the travel was, but the boulders were the size of a car and they were covered in snow and ice and trying to get over them with heavy packs felt nearly impossible. So we decided to turn around. There's a level of suffering we always expect in the mountains, but there's just a fine line between it being worth it and when you decide that it's just not. This trip ended up having way more snow than we expected, much cooler temperatures than we were planning for, and a route that took triple the amount of time it should have. 
Winter trips bring a whole new set of challenges, less daylight, extreme temperatures, and covered trails. And while we love showing the epic trips, we also wanna share how okay it is to just decide, nope, I'm not having fun anymore, I wanna go home. It can be really easy to look at this type of trip as a failure, but honestly, that couldn't be further from what we experienced. We had a night in the Sierra all to ourselves, got to see the mountains like this one more time before they're truly buried all winter, and learned a little bit more about what we'll do on the next one. Although we never want to leave a trip early, when you see the burger we got back in town, you'll agree that it was the right decision. Oh gosh. Don't go down. <laughs> cool, cool. I can see him. All done. Well deserved. <laughs> Got that on camera. <laughs> no.